All right, all right, all right. Welcome to another episode of Low Budget Sailing. Today, I'm gonna take you on a quick tutorial on how to solder your own VHF connections, the PL259. I will show you some very simple steps to do it very professionally, take out the maximum out of your VHF. All you need is the plug with a little dot so you can solder it. You need some soldering wire, the soldering machine, and of course your VHF cable so I'm gonna just do it my way and hopefully this works out for you as well we're gonna start off by cutting off around four centimeters of the outer layer of the VHF cable take your time and don't try to be fast better do it once and do it good next remove the jacket of the cable and expose the metal shielding you want to leave around half a centimeter of the shield push the shield up to make the cutting easy Remove the excess and push the rest up. Next, we are going to remove the dielectric, the last insulation layer of the center conductor. Also leave around half a centimeter. Again, take your time. The center conductor is very fragile. You don't want it to break. Now, let's twist the center conductor. We could finish it off right now, but I always like to add some soldering tin to the center conductor. This way, if any conductor breaks, it won't be able to cause any connection problems. I do this with all my electric cables now. It's so satisfying. Add the first part of the connector to the cable and then screw the second part on the cable. Fold the overlapping center conductor down and solder the tip. Try to keep the connector pointing down. You don't want soldering tin running into your connector. This could create malfunction. Cut off the excess center conductor and you're done. Well, that was it. It's as easy as that. From now on, you can solder all your AIS and VHF connections. It's quick and easy. Don't forget to solder the wire before you put it in. It just keeps the, the little wires together. Thanks for watching. Rah, rah.